Welcome back, Pipers. Hobbiton Piper Kevin here and a neighborhood dog. Coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri. I'm recording this in the morning my morning smoke with my morning coffee. And every time I come out here and start talking during this time period, neighborhood dog wants to talk back. <laughs> but it's a beautiful fall morning, nice and cool. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to smoke with you. So, go get a pipe and some tobacco. Let me know what you're smoking, what you're smoking it in. And we'll share a bowl today. Just you, me, and the neighborhood dog. Today I'm smoking my Chacombe Atlas Yellow 42. There's a pipe story out there on this if you want to hear more about it. And this morning I've chosen the 2020 release of Sun Bear. I like this blend. The so limited release normally comes out in the summer, at least it has the past three years. We'll have to talk about that one sometime. Today is the final day to enter into my giveaway for novice pipers so you'll see the video it's not very far down and it's a giveaway for two randomly selected novice pipers and all the details of how to enter are there in the description and during the video so if you have not entered and you've been smoking a pipe for less than three years please go look that video up watch it follow the steps to enter that drawing which is going to happen tomorrow so by midnight central standard time that'll be the deadline tonight some really good tobaccos in there and my buddy robert ena's dad is also put together a really nice box in addition to mine to send to those two winners. So you want to be involved in that one if, uh, if you haven't done that already. So tomorrow I will post the giveaway winners video so that'll be a lot of fun and then thursday i will have a brand new tobacco review ready for you so it's another fun week of content thank you so much to everyone that is subscribed and i hope you'll continue to stay with me and share your pipe journey with me i know a lot of you enjoy this smoke with me series and i and i do too this is it's so fun just to sit out here and relax and talk to you because I'm just out here by myself, so it's nice. It's nice to uh, 
be able to smoke with you. So even if you can't sit down immediately when you see the Smoke With Me videos come out, that's totally fine. Just whenever you have time, go get you a pipe and some tobacco. Let me know what you're smoking, what you're smoking it in, whenever that may be, even if it's months down the road when you watch this. Um, there's a Smoke With Me playlist, so you can start from the, the beginning if you wanted to and smoke as long as you wanted to with me. So if you want a longer smoke, there's, there's more videos out there. We're starting to build a pretty decent catalog of pipe stories and pipe tobacco reviews, smoke with me videos. And the goal is that these videos can be out there and, and be a blessing to people, not just on these days that they're released, but whenever someone might find them. So hopefully that'll be a good thing. I was born and raised in Arkansas. In the central Arkansas area. And then after college, I moved to the western Arkansas area and was there for a long time. And then moved up here to Missouri for a new job back around 2014. So I've been here for over seven years now. But Arkansas will always feel like home. You know how it is when you born and raised somewhere and lived there for through your early years and your younger years. And we don't have a professional football team there, but we sure do love our Arkansas Razorbacks college football team and college basketball, college baseball. We normally don't have a lot to cheer about, but we've had some great basketball years in the past and we've had some recent baseball success. Football's always been a challenge though for us. Can't ever seem to get it right. <laughs> but this year we're having some success in football, so that's been a lot of fun and a surprise. We have a new coach and seems to have turned things around pretty quick, so that's encouraging. Apologies to all the Texas football fans out there. Uh, we're used to getting whooped by you guys, so it was nice to finally beat Texas and beat Texas A&M. That never happens, so we're having a good year. It may all come crashing down <laughs> soon, though, because we have to play number two Georgia next. But it's been fun. It'll be interesting to see how we do. Of course, then you inevitably have to play the likes of Alabama and much love to my people in Alabama. Man, that's a, that's frustrating though. <laughs> it's frustrating to always get dog walked by Alabama. Great program there, though, no doubt. But we'll see how it goes. See if we can keep the train rolling. <laughs> it's 
it's been very interesting to read all of the Novice Piper favorite tobaccos. So the next smoke with me will probably be me revealing the results of that because I've built a spreadsheet, as you know I like to do, of all the entrants. I think there's over 65 already new Pipers, Novice Pipers, that have entered the giveaway and they've all told me what their favorite tobaccos are and I've compiled that. So at some point I will reveal what the the top tobaccos of our novice piper entries are. That has been really neat to to read through. I haven't cracked open the Black Locust Sun Bear yet. That's this year's release. I was going to finish this tin before I did that. I've heard it's about the same. Some people do like it more, though. So, we'll see. <laughs> one of my buddies said Kevin you've got to make these smoke with me videos longer because I, I've always still got way too much tobacco in my bowl by the time they're over <laughs> so I don't know I don't know what the I don't know what the right thing to do is is the right thing to do keep it around 15 minutes like I've been doing or should I stretch it on to 20 <laughs> I've never had a video be over the 20 minute mark yet because I know that sometimes when you see those long videos you may skip over them just because you think it's not something you have time to do right but maybe this series is different for those of you who are actually lighting up a bowl and sitting down and smoking with me it would be ideal for it to be longer wouldn't it so we'll see I've got ants in my dishwasher. My wife and I, we... We try to keep a really clean home. We don't have a lot of clutter. And we try to keep things really clean. And we don't have pets. The only pets I have are my birds outside, so... And they're wild and free. So we don't have pets. So it's pretty easy overall to keep the house clean. I mean, it's not easy, but it's manageable. So we try to keep all the critters outside. And I just cannot get rid of these ants. And I hate to poison them, but I just can't get rid of them otherwise, I don't think. <laughs> they uh they're just in the dishwasher like they're not up on the counters i mean a straggler here and there but it's just you open the dishwasher which we load our dirty dishes into the dishwasher and then when the dishwasher gets full we run the dishwasher well when there's dirty dishes in the dishwasher there, there's ants in the bottom of the dishwasher they're somehow coming in because I don't see them around the outside at the bottom I see very few up top on the counter ever 
But when you open that dishwasher, there's ants just all in the bottom of the dishwasher running around. I think I'm gonna run it and then clear it out and then maybe pour some vinegar to deter them all in the drain and then maybe run it on a cleaning cycle without any dishes in it and see what that does. I got it. I got to get rid of them though. So if you have any suggestions for that, or if you've ever dealt with that and handled it successfully, you could help me out by letting me know what I should try in the comments. <laughs> Because I need to deal with that today. It's just been going on for a week now. Well, me and the neighborhood dog yapping away. Are glad that you joined us <laughs> for this smoke with me today. I hope you're able to just relax, unwind, de-stress whenever you see these. That's what they're for. Or we can just sit and relax and talk. Not have to think too much. And share a bowl. Virtually though it may be. It's a blessing to me. I hope it's a blessing to you too. So, final reminders. Giveaway. Go get involved if you aren't already. If you've been smoking a pipe for less than three years. Giveaway winners will be announced tomorrow afternoon. And then Thursday, I'll have a new pipe tobacco review for you. So until then, enjoy some good food. A good drink like coffee in the morning. And a good pipe like this beautiful Chacombe Yellow Atlas 42.